Hello, welcome to our English video class for 7th grade, phase 3, week 17. Phase 3, week 17 for 7th grade. In today's class, we are going to study the following topic, Introduction to Simple Past. Okay, That's the topic that we're studying on this week, Introduction to Simple Past. Okay, Let's go through the guide. Vamos a hacer una pequeña general overview of what we're going to study. Okay. First, we have a list of uh, pictures to write some verbs. Tenemos una lista de, de pictures, de fotos. Le vamos a escribir los verbos a esas en English. A esas pictures, please. Las respuestas en English, remember. Luego tenemos la presentation del, del, uh, del tema que vamos a estudiar, which is simple past, pasado simple. Okay. Te voy a explicar por qué dos cuadros de pasado, porque hay dos tipos diferentes de verbs en pasado. Luego, structure, que es la forma en cómo se dicen o se hacen las oraciones en pasado en in English. Okay? Y some examples. After that, tenemos fill in the blanks. Fill in the blanks means rellenar los espacios. Tenemos que rellenar estos espacios con los verbs in parentheses que aparecen ahí. Luego tenemos una reading, un reading extract, ok? Uh, un, un, un parágrafo, un parágrafo que hay que leer en in English y que hay que responder ya sea true para verdadero, false para falso o doesn't, solo eso, o doesn't say, perdón, doesn't say, no dice, ¿okay? ahí lo vamos a ver mejor, ¿okay? vamos al inicio, let's go back to the beginning, so, activation part here, escribe en inglés los verbos que identificas en cada una de las imágenes, attention over there, Escribe en inglés los verbos que identificas en cada una de las imágenes. So you have to write. Write the verbs you identified in each picture, ¿ok? For example, this one is run, yes? You run, ¿ok? Eat, for example, yes? Sleep, ¿ok? You write, escribes, the verbs in English that you identify, los verbos que tú identificas en English, ¿ok? So this one is dance, ¿ok? Dance, you have cook, okay, cook, study, okay. So those are uh, some of the verbs that we identified in each picture. Si no se los puede todos, you can look for it in the dictionary, okay. Now let's continue with the presentation part. Esta semana estudiaremos el pasado simple. A continuación te presentamos dos clases de verbos y la estructura a utilizar, okay. Simple past, pasado simple, yes, simple past. Verbs in simple past are divided in regular and irregular verbs. We suggest to learn the list below, okay? Attention over here. I'm going to say it in Spanish so that it is really clear, okay? Hay dos clases de verbos en el simple past, en el pasado simple. Una clase se llama regular verbs, okay? Se le llama regular verbs porque sin importar qué verbo sea, todos terminan en ed. Mira, ed, 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 ed. Ed en Spanish ed, ¿ok? Ed, 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 ed. Se le llama regulares porque sin importar qué verbo sea, para escribirlo en pasado, they all finish in ed, ¿ok? Todos terminan en ed. Por eso se le llama regulares, ¿ok? Ahora, the other kind of verb, el otro tipo de verbos son irregulares, irregular verbs, ¿ok? ¿Por qué se le llama irregular? Porque estos no terminan todos en ed. Yes? They change. Ellos cambian. For example, el pasado de eat es ate. Okay? So in Spanish we say comer, right? O, co o comer, sorry. In, Sp in Spanish we say comer, eat. Okay? El pasado diríamos comí o comió. Okay? But in English es eat en presente, comer y ate en pasado. Yes? The same thing goes with read, yes? In Spanish, leer. Y in English, read, ¿ok? Son irregular, son irregulares, porque si usted se fija, no, ninguno termina igual, ¿ok? No terminan en ED, sino que terminan en formas diferentes, todos. So, los dos clases de verbos son los regulars, porque todos terminan con ED, y la otra clase es irregular, porque son diferentes la manera en que se escriben todos. So, as a Ok, sugerencia. Learn the lists below. Apréndase las listas que aparecen aquí abajo. Ok. Now, let's practice the pronunciation of the regular verbs. Play. Played. Listen to the D. Played. Study. Studied. Studied. 
live lived lived like liked liked stop stopped stopped love loved loved hate hated hated cook cooked cooked walk walked walked listen listened listened help helped helped okay if you paid attention to the pronunciation you realize that they all finishing ed but they are pronounced differently okay aunque todos terminan en ed si escuchó mi pronunciación se pronuncia de forma diferente eso lo vamos a estudiar después we will study that later on okay listen to the pronunciation once again only the simple past okay solo the simple past played studied lived liked stopped loved hated cooked walked listened listened helped helped okay so those are the regular verbs in the past now the irregular verbs vamos con los irregulares the irregular verbs in the past i'm going to say them in the present y luego in the past okay first in the present y luego in the past let's go eat eat eight eight read read rev rev attention to that in present is read y en past rev okay sleep sleep slept slept drink drink drunk drunk see see saw saw get get got got go go went went run 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 right right wrote 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 swim swim swam swam sit sit sat sat okay so those are the irregular verbs in the past verbos irregulares en el pasado if you pay attention you notice that they are different they do not finish in ed ellos no terminan en ed okay todos son diferentes por eso se llaman irregular o irregulares okay once again let's practice the pronunciation of the simple past listen and repeat eight Read, slept, drank, saw, got, went, ran, wrote, swam, sat. Okay? You practice the pronunciation all the times you want. Okay? Practice the pronunciation todas las veces que quiera. You can go the video back so that you can listen to the pronunciation of the pair the verbs in the past again okay now let's go to the structure okay how do we write sentences in the past como escribimos oraciones in the past in english okay if it is an affirmative sentence if it is an affirmative it's una oración afirmativa if it is an affirmative sentence you start by writing the pronoun on the verb in the past okay empiezas escribiendo el pronombre que ya seas puede ser cualquiera de estos okay cualquiera de estos 
y luego añades el verbo en el pasado, ¿ok? ¿Ok? Puede ser cualquiera, yes, de los que hemos visto arriba, or the ones that we have over here. For example, you can say, I ate, yo comí, yes, you ate, tú comiste, he ate, él comió, she ate, it ate, we ate, you ate, they ate, ¿ok? Any of those pronouns, cualquiera de esos pronombres, with any of those verbs, ¿ok? Now, for example, you can say, I drank, you drank, he drank, she drank, it drank, we drank, you drank, they drank, ¿ok? The same goes with study, yes? I studied, you studied, he studied, she studied, it studied, we studied, you studied, they studied, yes? The same goes with swam. Swam means nado, okay? So I swam, you swam, he swam, she swam, it swam, we swam, you swam, they swam. For example, I can say, I swam in the pool, yes? Or, for example, you can say, I swam in Termos del Rio, for example, yes? I swam in Termos del Rio pool, okay? Yo fui a nadar de las piscinas de Termos. I swam in Termos del Rio pool, okay? Also, you can say, uh, for example, she swam in the ocean, for example, yes? She swam in the ocean, yes? For example. She swam in the ocean, okay? Now, another example with ate, comió, o comí. I ate tamales, okay? I ate tamales yesterday, okay? Ayer, I ate tamales yesterday. You ate pupusas, yes? For example, you ate pupusas. You ate pupusas uh, yesterday, for example, yes? Or oh, he ate pizza okay he ate pizza at albert's pizza for example yes now next study you can say we studied uh, english for example okay we studied english okay so to say things in the past to form to form a sentence in the past para formar una, una oración en el pasado tienes que añadir un pronombre o incluso puede ser hasta un nombre por ejemplo maritza juan pedro whatever y un verb in the past, ¿ok? Y luego le añades lo que tú quieras, ¿ok? So, for example, you can say, I ate pupusas yesterday. Uh, my father ate uh, tamales tonight. Yes? Or you can say, they studied in the university. Or we drank Coca-Cola. Yes? Whatever you want, ¿ok? Now, to make it negative, para hacerlo negativo, lo mismo, utilizas un pronoun, los pronombres, por ejemplo, como esto que tenemos aquí, yes, you can use one pronoun. Y luego, y this is important, le añades la forma negativa. ¿Cuál es la forma negativa? Didn't. ¿Ok? Attention. Didn't. Quiero enfocarme aquí un pedacito para que ustedes lo vean bien. El verbo do, que en el pasado es did, es un auxiliar. Yes. Se lo puedo decir en español, so that it's really clear, ¿ok? Cuando, por ejemplo, alguien trabaja de auxiliar o de ayudante de albañil, al auxiliar le toca hacer mucho del trabajo pesado. En esto es lo mismo. El auxiliar es did y él es el que hace el trabajo más pesado. ¿Por qué? Porque él es el que carga con el negativo, ¿ok? El verbo es como el maestro de obra. Él hace lo... El trabajo que tiene que hacer el bañil. Y el trabajo pesado lo hace el auxiliar. ¿Ok? Por, como poner un ejemplo. Y el verbo auxiliar es el que hace el trabajo de llevar el not. El negativo. ¿Ok? El auxiliar did hace el trabajo pesado de llevar el auxiliar not. El verbo se queda normal. Como si estuviera en presente. ¿Ok? Ejemplo. Si juntáramos esto... Yo no comí, yes, I didn't eat. Si fuera en afirmativo diría I ate, pero como estamos en negativo, esto tiene que decir que yo no comí. No se puede decir I no ate, eso está incorrecto. Se dice I didn't eat, ¿ok? Esta palabra, esta palabra es la que toma el pasado, ¿ok? El didn't toma el pasado. 
I didn't eat. Didn't, esta frase, didn't, es como decir did not. ¿Ok? I did not eat. Yo no comí. ¿Ok? I did not eat. Yo no comí. Pero como esto lo quiero hacer contractado, ya no digo did not, sino que digo didn't. ¿Ok? Once again, para hacer una oración negativa, primero tenemos que conseguir el pronombre. ¿Ok? Y luego le añadimos el did not o didn't. ¿Ok? Aquí está contractado, didn't. Y luego añadimos el verbo. El verbo viene al suave en su forma principal porque el not lo agarra siempre el auxiliar. ¿Ok? Didn't. Si todavía les cuesta, puedes ver el video over and over again o me puedes preguntar directly to my WhatsApp y yo estaré happy to answer your questions, ¿ok? So, let's continue. To make a negative sentence, you form it with the pronoun, the didn't, and the verb in a base form, ¿ok? El verbo en su forma normal. For example, yo no comí sería I didn't eat. ¿Por qué el verbo está en su forma normal? Porque el not, el del negativo, ya lo agarró el auxiliar. ¿Y cuál es el auxiliar? Did, ¿ok? So, it says didn't. So, in negative, this is, I didn't eat. For example, I didn't eat pizza last night. Yes? I didn't eat tamales in Christmas. You didn't eat uh, eggs, okay? Or you didn't eat chicken. He didn't eat any chicken, okay? She didn't eat uh, vegetables. It didn't eat the food, okay? Or oh, we didn't eat uh, tampero. Or you didn't eat a pizza hat, okay? Or they didn't eat a um, Albert's pizza, for example, okay? So, the same goes with drink, okay? Lo mismo para los otros. Él no bebió, yes? El drink está en forma normal. No está en pasado. ¿Por qué? Porque el que agarra el pasado es el auxiliar. Y el que agarra el negativo también es el auxiliar. Por eso les digo que el auxiliar es todo el trabajo. Porque agarra tanto el pasado como el negativo. Lo mismo en todas las otras negativas que tenemos acá en estos examples. Yes? So, I didn't drink. I didn't drink Coca-Cola. I didn't drink lemonade. You didn't drink horchata. He didn't drink uh, soda. She didn't drink water. Yes? We didn't drink beer, for example. Or you didn't drink coca-cola or they didn't drink pepsi okay didn't study another example he didn't study for the test yes i didn't study for the exam yes i didn't study english today you didn't study english okay now next swim We didn't swim in the ocean. No fuimos al mar a nadar. We didn't swim in the ocean. Yes, didn't. De nuevo, utilizamos un pronombre y el past, el pasado, lo lleva el auxiliar, did. Okay? Y el negativo lo lleva el auxiliar con didn't o did not. Okay? Y el verbo principal, comer, se queda bien al suave en su forma normal. Porque todo el trabajo, ¿quién lo hace? The auxiliary verb. Okay? The auxiliary verb. Él hace el trabajo de llevar el, el verbo en pasado con did y hace todo el trabajo de llevar el negativo, not. ¿Ok? ¿Ok? Let's continue. Let's continue. Examples. Juan ran around the park yesterday. Miren, utilizamos un nombre. En vez de eso, utilizamos un nombre. Y un verbo de los de past. ¿De dónde sale el run? De aquí salió el run, miren. Juan run. De aquí salió el past. ¿Eh? ¿Dónde está? ¿Dónde está? Where is it? Here. ¿Ok? Run es en presente y run es en pasado. ¿Ok? Y aquí está como se escribe. Yes. Run. Run. ¿Ok? Now, another example. Gracia had a sandwich for lunch. Yes. Gracia had a sandwich for lunch. These uh, words that are in bold are verbs in the past, okay? Son verbos en el pasado. Or verbs in the past. Okay, Iselda swam in the river on Sunday. They cooked chicken for lunch. He enjoyed soccer match, okay? Time expressions. 
expresión de tiempo. For example, you can say Juan ran yesterday. Okay, for example, yes, Juan ran yesterday. Oh, Gracia had a sandwich two days ago. Yes, or oh, they cooked chicken last week. You can say, for example, they cooked chicken last month. Okay, they cooked chicken last year, for example. Okay, so those are time expressions to talk about the past. Okay, expresiones para hablar del pasado. Ayer, yesterday, two days ago, last week, la semana pasada, last month, el pasado mes, or last year, el pasado año, yes? Last year, last month, last week, okay? Now, continue with the practice. Here you have to fill in the blanks. Escribe los verbos en paréntesis de la forma correcta, en el pasado simple, okay? Escribe los verbos en paréntesis en la forma correcta, en el pasado simple. For example... He, okay, sleep for 10 hours. Think about it. El pasado, the past of sleep. Let's go back here. Sleep, 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 sleep. Where is it sleep? Sleep. Hey, there you see. There you can see it. Sleep. The past, I slept, okay? So, aquí ya no sería sleep. So, in this case, it will be slept. So, he slept, yes, for 10 hours. Next. She play is in present. In past, she, she played, okay? In past is played. So, she played basketball. Yes, she played basketball. Now, let's continue. They studied English, okay? Eat, ate biscuits. Okay, and you continue, eso termina, okay, you continue. Now, one point forward, lee el siguiente texto, attention, lee el siguiente texto, y escribe, V, verdadero, yes, F, falso, D, S, no dice, doesn't say, okay. Puedes poner para verdadero, dice aquí en English, true, y para falso, false, y si no dice, doesn't say, okay. Vamos, leemos here, leemos, do we read, y luego contestamos. Ok, one example. Martin rode his bike last Saturday. Is it true or false? ¿Verdadero o falso? Yes. On Saturday, dice, rode my bicycle to the park. ¿Es true or false? Is it true or false? Yes, it is true. Así que a la par le ponemos la T de true. Si fuera falso, le pusiéramos la F de false. Y si no dijera, le ponemos DS, que significa doesn't say or no dice, ¿ok? Once again, if you have any questions, you can send me a WhatsApp, ¿ok? Finally, I'm going to show you a video so that you can see how to um, speak in English using the simple past, ¿ok? Vamos a ver un video para ver cómo se usa en English el, single, el simple past, ¿ok? Let's watch it. What did you do? Home, I took a hot bath. 
I enjoy spending time with my family. How about you? How was your weekend? Well, on Saturday, I went shopping with my mom. I needed a dress for my cousin's birthday party, so I tried many dresses. So did you finally find your right dress? Yeah, I did. I found the perfect dress for the party. So how was the party? It was great fun. There were lots of beautiful decorations in the room. The cake looked amazing. My cousin blew out the candles and cut the cake. We sang the birthday song. Then we played lots of games and I won many times. Where was the party held? It was held at a party center. How was the food? The food was delicious, but I ate too much and felt a little sick. And I also drank too much juice. So were you able to stay until the end of the party? Yes, I was, because I only started to feel sick at the end of the party. When I got home, my mom made me some tea, and I felt much better after drinking it. Anyway, I loved the party. It was awesome. I had a wonderful time this weekend, too. We went to visit our grandparents on Saturday morning. We traveled by train. It was a journey of around three hours, and there was a lot to see outside the window. In the afternoon, I went fishing in a boat with my grandpa for the first time. Really? Where did you go? We went to a lake not far away from his house. He taught me cool stuff about fishing, and I tried to do everything he said. So did you catch any fish? Yes, we did. We caught a lot of fish. I was so excited. We took the fish home, and later we had grilled fish for dinner. It was such a delicious meal. I was really sad yesterday when I had to say goodbye to my grandparents. Did you have a good day at school today? It was okay. Did you like your lessons at school? I enjoyed the grammar lesson and the PE, but I didn't like math. We had a test. So, how was the test? I didn't do so well on the test. I made a few mistakes. What was the best thing that happened at school today? The time I spent with my friends during recess was the best thing that happened today. Okay, the video is over. I want to show you something before the video is over. Yes, uh, what I was saying to you regarding the didn't, okay? I want to show it to you once again. See this part, please? In this part. You can see I enjoyed the, the grammar lesson, yes? This part is in the past, okay? Enjoyed. Enjoyed. If you pay attention, it finishes in ED, termina en ED, which means it's a regular, regular, okay? It's a regular verb in the past, okay? But in this case, didn't like, okay? Attention here to the didn't. Remember, did means that it is in the past. Si está, en, si está con did, significa que está en pasado. Yes? Y cuando dice didn't, ok? Didn't significa que la oración es negativa. Negativa, ok? Because it is a contraction of did not. Ok? Acuérdese. Aunque el siguiente verbo, like, esté en su forma base o en su base form, ok? Like, porque eso es de base form, no quiere decir que no esté en pasado, porque el auxiliar, el que hace todo el trabajo, es el que lleva el pasado, did. Y también llega el negativo, didn't. ¿Ok? Didn't like. So, 
I didn't like, no me gustó, I didn't like, ¿ok? I didn't like. En pasado, did. Negativo, didn't. Yes, I didn't like, no me gustó, ¿ok? Remember, aunque este verbo no vaya en pasado, podemos decir que es pasado, ¿por qué? Porque el auxiliar es el que lleva el pasado con did y también llega el negativo con el not. Por eso decimos, I didn't like, no me gustó, ¿ok? So this is it for today's class. If you have any questions, you can send me a WhatsApp and I'll be very happy to answer your questions. Bye guys and see you.